Hi, and welcome to the University of Hertfordshire UH Racing. My name is Russell Padden, and I'm this year's Formula Student Team Leader. And we're here in our new simulation room uh, with a couple of our members. So on the sim behind me is one of our star drivers, Stephen Baldock. He's been with the team for four years now, and he's been one of our key players uh, over a number of years, designing parts on the car and also racing it at the event. And then if we move around to our data wall, uh, we have Dan Spicer, who's a new team member. And then just behind him is Claire Clethero. We're now joining Dan Spicer back on the pit wall. What we're looking at now is the Bruntingthorpe circuit with Stephen Boldock driving. And we're going through a number of different tests on the car. Uh, this car has taken six months to develop, along with the track, which was basically a plain sheet of paper at the start of the year. Uh, as you can see, uh, the car is now navigating its way through a series of slalom cones, which is replicated by the movement in the motion platform. Uh, on the screen, Dan is actually looking at throttle traces, steering angles, brake positions and RPM. And he's just keeping an eye on the general parameters of the vehicle. We'll go straight in, yeah. dive in and let's go. Tests to do, running the engines to their limits before they blow up. Or let even, in fact, we blew up. How many engines did we? We blew, <laughs> we blew up three engines last three year. Three engines, yeah. And, um, you have to you have to take them to the limit so that you know where and what you can go up to. So that in the half an hour endurance race we do in the whole year, that we know what our limit is, and then we can just punish the engine basically to our. We push really hard. Yeah. Right? We take everything to the extreme as, as much as we possibly can. It's not like in Formula One where there's so many specific rules, isn't it? Yeah. That you, you, they, there's so much they cannot do, whereas in this there's a lot of things that we could do that other race series can't do, yeah. can they? So it makes it almost more cutting edge than some of the race series. Yeah. It's a very, very open formula. It's probably yeah. one of the most open formula in the world. So you can, There are very few rules that tell you what you can and can't do. Mm. Um, so it's very open to your interpretation. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise it's the sky's the limit almost, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and budget money. Budget is Budget's the limit, yeah. <laughs> so what we do from here is we take this model and we go straight into the CFD of it, as you can see. It looks exactly the same. And we've just applied the airflow over this car uh, to show what happens, to be honest. Okay. And as you can see, the cutout of this um, part just, just in front of the wheel. I didn't think that would actually be a part. I didn't think that would create any downforce whatsoever, but what's happening is we can turn this around. The airflow is actually speeding up as you come in through this end plate, going over the wheel, so it's decreasing that stagnation point as well. So you're getting doubly effect of, well, you're getting less drag, and you're getting more downforce, which wasn't expected whatsoever. Yeah, right. So things like that we would learn, we can hopefully take on as well as we yeah. move on. Yeah. Job. We're here when, when it's test day the next day. It? It's, yeah, they basically 24 hour test day, sleepless, hour, sleepless uh, nights, days. and we yeah. pull it in because we enjoy it. You know, yeah. this is an extracurricular activity. We don't have to be here, but we want to be here. And you meet all these different people that are just good at different areas, and then we come together on the team, and you know, we sort of all work together and progress to make the car better. And you know, myself, Karim, and, and Dave. Yeah. A lot sort of interested in the same things, so we all sort of gel together with sort of three musketeers of UH racing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have I've insurance? Seen him he's, he's dangerous, mate. He's dangerous. Yeah, Even well, when the car doesn't move, he's dangerous. We've, we've all seen him in his BMW, so, uh, so never a good time. Okay. I think we've got Yes, uh, yeah, Karim's a bit of a lunatic behind the wheel, aren't you, Karim? <laughs> so uh, when we get him on the simulator, you see, uh, you see what he's like. The Stop. expectation goes right up when you're when you're there, because you you now now you're against all the other teams. All of the stuff you've built, or the car you've built from that in the whole year, is now on show, and everyone by is walking around looking at your car, seeing what you've done, and uh, then then it then then all the stakes start rising. <laughs> We get very protective as well, so other teams will come and look at our car and um, we'll try and cover up certain 
aspects of it that we've changed and we'll do the same thing, we'll go out and have a look at the other teams like Bath, we've got really big rivalry with Bath, so we'll go and nose on their car, see what they're up to, report back, say, oh, they're up to this, you know, the weather's <laughs> changing, let's, you know, let's make a, de a decision quickly, you know, they're going out at this time, so it's really, really competitive. For me, I think business presentation is probably the scariest event, um, particularly uh, just standing up in front of people and doing it. It's not something I'm overly comfortable with, but I know that I have to. Um, it's just probably the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a big personal challenge. It is a very big personal challenge, particularly um, Germany. So it's live in front of 2,000 people on a stage in the finals. That was particularly nerve-wracking. And if you'd seen me before, then, well, <laughs> I was a mess. Party at the end. <laughs> Party at the end, yeah, yeah. Um, being on the stage when we win medals is is yeah. fantastic feeling, yeah. and um, the adrenaline is just everyone's pumped up, everyone's out to race, everyone's out to compete, and it's just the stress is on, the pressure's on. If something goes wrong in your department, yeah. all eyes are on you. Yeah. You know, it's it's <laughs> it's sort of highs and lows all yeah. at once, and staying up late and going back to the hotel late and waking up tired yeah. and really pushing to make sure that your car is the best on the day. Yeah, um, yeah. Once the event starts, you don't stop until like, right at the end. No phone calls, no girlfriends, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs>